Lagos State Deputy Governor Baba Femi Obafemi Amzat uh, said addressing the current security situation and challenges in the country is a collective responsibility of all Nigerians. Hamzat made the remark at the sixth biennial conference of Nasser Life at He Community Nasfat on the theme security and good governance, imperative for faith based organizations. He noted that though security was the concern of government, it required the support of citizenry to provide and the partnership upon which the security apparatus was built. The deputy governor pointed out that the continuous weaponization of religion, ethnicity, ethnicity and other areas of differences must stop to build a united and peaceful nation. Hamzat noted that though the state and federal government had committed a lot of funds to security, adding that the re-examination of the people's value would ensure a secure nation. He urged Nigerians to join in effort to fix the nation so as to make the country conducive for the younger generation. Nasfat President Olani Yusuf said the theme of the conference was hinged on finding solutions to the challenges of insecurity and poor governance being faced by the country. Olani reiterated that faith-based organizations have a significant opportunity and role to play in securing the nation. Given the dire state of our dear nation, after 61 years of independence and our continuous slide in terms of critical indices such as the poverty level, human development, national competitiveness, good governance and insecurity. In the same things are, every speaker today here has mentioned the bad security and the bad governance. But in this, the Inspector General of Police asked me to tell you that let all of us know, number one, that there is no governance without security. I think we focus too much on the leadership in this country. We were told the total number of people ruling this country is not up to 11,000. In a nation of about 200 million, we find it difficult to pick 11,000 that is good then something is wrong with all of us. As a government, I think we can assure you of our commitment to promoting peace, security, and ensuring that our people continue to enjoy living in peace.